How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be covering how to make your system faster and more responsive by disabling just a simple setting. This video works for both Windows 10 and 11 and also for any machine, whether it is old or new. So we are going to disable Windows Search Indexing. So Windows Search Index is a feature in the Windows operating system that creates a database of information about the files and folders on your computer. So this database allows users to search for their files using the Start menu and Windows Explorer. Although it is not always necessary, this service occasionally uses more RAM than is needed. Even if you search for something, it takes all the time to find nothing. So disabling this service can improve system performance and reduce resource usage. Also, I'll be showing a powerful search tool for Windows with which you can find anything in seconds. Now you may be wondering if it is safe to disable or not. It is completely safe to disable. It has more advantages than disadvantages. One of the best benefit is that disabling indexing can prevent the indexing of sensitive or personal files, potentially enhancing your privacy. As I mentioned earlier, this can free up system resources, especially on older or less powerful computers, result in a faster and more responsive system. So let's jump into the video. So the first method to disable the search index is by going to this PC. Right-click on your main drive. Click Properties. Then uncheck this. Allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties. Click on Apply. Then select this option and click on OK. Then click on Ignore All. Now it will apply this new attribute to every single file on that drive. Depending on the size of your drive and the number of files, the process will take around half an hour to complete. Once it done, click OK and do the same thing for other drives as well. The next method is using service app. So right click on the Windows icon and click on Run. Then type services.msc and click OK. Then scroll down to the W section until you find Windows Search. Then double click on it. Then click Stop. And select Startup type to disabled. Then click on Apply. And click OK. After that restart your PC. Then search something on your Windows search. And see if there is message shows the search indexing was turned off. This means the Windows search index has successfully disabled. Next up is downloading the everything tool from Void Tools to replace Windows search. So in my opinion, doing this is entirely optional. If you don't have any particular need to find something you want by searching, don't install this. And this tool uses very little system resources. You can use this tool on any low-end machine without any lag. And it is also completely free and does not contain any malware, spyware, or adware. So I will leave the download link in the description. Once you get here, click on Download Installer 64-bit version. Then open the setup. Then choose the language you want. Click on I agree. Next. Again click on Next. And finally click Install. Now you can literally type anything here, and it will show up all the files and media related to that in a second. And if we take a look at its performance, while using the everything tool, as you can see it uses very low on memory. And make sure to pin it to the taskbar, so it is easy to open and use it. Another thing I like to do is remove the tray icon, so to do that right click on it, click options. Then click on UI under the general. And uncheck the option which says show tray icon. Then click apply. Now, if you want to go a little bit further to something like this, we need to install another tool for that, but the only catch is it takes up more memory. As you can see, it uses around 170 megabytes. So I wouldn't recommend to use this on low end machines, but if you like, you can still try it out. So we'll leave the link in the description. Once you get here, Scroll down a little bit and click on this latest version. Then click on this .msi and it will download the tool. Once you open it up, click on more info in the top left corner and click run anyway. Then click next. Again click on next. And finally click on install. After it's done installing, click on finish. Then open everything tool. And search for everything toolbar. And click on this launcher.exe. First select the taskbar icon you like, 
and click on this right side arrow. Now you need to pin it to the taskbar. For that right click on the icon and click pin to taskbar. Then tick this enable option and click on close. After that you'll get a message that you need to restart the explorer to update the taskbar icon. So click on yes. And now you're good to go. So that's it for the today's video guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And make sure to check out my other videos for further performance.